crisp. Fresh. Drink? Bottled water is the greatest advertising and marketing trick of all time. Drink, drink, drink. We started buying bottled water in a serious way starting at the end of the 70s when Perrier came across the ocean and was introduced to urban markets. It was a niche product. It was really popular with urban professionals. I think at lunchtime, it's a much better drink than some alcoholic drink. It allows you to continue that sociability that uh, alcohol provides uh, without some of the adverse effects that prevent you from doing a day's work that you would otherwise like to do. It came in beautiful green glass bottles, but we weren't walking around down the street swigging from the Perrier bottles. That didn't happen until 1989 when it became possible to put bottled water into lightweight, cheap, clear plastic bottles made of PET, and that changed the market. As Mark Twain once said, you know, whiskey is for sipping and water is for fighting. And there's going to be a lot of fighting about this before it's done. Every day, America's largest bottled water corporations, Nestle, Coke, and Pepsi, pump millions of gallons of water from the earth, bottle it, ship it, and sell it back for 1,900 times the cost of tap water. It's bad for the environment, it's bad for public water systems, and it's bad for taxpayers. With companies like Coke, Pepsi, and Nestle so vital to local economies, government officials are often forced to choose between environmental it's consequences or jobs. In loss. the last couple of years, the trash that we're finding out on this river are plastic bottles. Hundreds and hundreds of plastic drinking water bottles. That, my friends, is Lint Hill. And that's where Corpus plastic Christi. starts. Yes, that's where plastic starts. What they make is paraxylene, which is a, a vital compound in making plastics. What a lot of people don't know is that it's in the benzene family, and benzene causes cancer. So as they're raking in the bucks, the people here are sick and dying. When you think about the finished product of a plastic bottle, you don't think about the process and the headache and the pain and suffering and the health effects that come from living next door. It's out of sight, out of mind. But these are real problems that are being experienced by real people. There's reasons why people that live around these refineries, you know, breathe this air and drink this water, uh, have higher rates of cancer, birth defects, and other illnesses. Overall birth defects in Corpus Christi are 84 percent higher than the state average. The groundwater is contaminated, the air is contaminated, the soil is contaminated. But because people don't drop dead on the spot, you don't have to think about it, yeah. you know, so you can get away with it. I think it's the perfect crime.